Welcome back to the Beaufort News. I am so pleased to welcome Miss Amy Payton to report on some local education news. Welcome, Amy. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So I understand that Beaufort's newest public school of choice is Bridges Preparatory School. Tell us a little bit about this school, if you would. I sure will. Um, we are so excited. Um, the Bridges Preparatory Charter School was approved uh, and certified as of July 12th, uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And for those of you that do not know what a charter school is, um, a charter school is simply a public school, which means that it's open to any child in Beaufort County and beyond. Um, and the reason I say beyond is because we are a state-sponsored charter school, which means we do not have boundaries uh, as far as county lines go. Um, and Bridges Preparatory School, or as we say, BPS, is um, going to start off uh, with grades K through six uh, in the year 2013, 2014. So we eventually will go all the way up through 12th grade. So our ultimate goal again is to be uh, K through 12. And um, it is a public school, which means it's free, no tuition. And all you have to do is apply. And our applications will be available in mid-August for those students interested in attending uh, BPS. And can you expand a little bit on the educational program at Bridges Prep? Specifically, we want to know what is Padia and what is STEM? Well, um, a lot of people, um, when we did public outreach meetings, uh, that is how we derived our educational plan. We decided to go out into the public and find out what parents are looking for in a public school. So we based our educational program on those needs and we found that parents wanted uh, whole child or student-centered education and also wanted an emphasis on science, technology, engineering, and math. So we put our thinking caps on and did a lot of research and uh, a lot of talking with you know, fellow educators and found a program called uh, the National PDEA Organization. And what PDEA is, in essence, is a staff training or staff development that all of our teachers will go through for three years. It's rather uh, extensive. And PDEA is known for whole child education, which means we don't just go in and learn about, you know, educating our brain or the cognitive side of life. We also learn about other things like physical, social, and uh, social uh, values and, and educational standpoints that we will teach in the classroom. And um, the PDEA model that we're using will teach our staff or the teachers how to become whole child teachers so that every child gets what they need. And um, as for STEM, again, that's uh, science, engineering, technology, and math. We will be emphasizing um, wonderful, wonderful programs and bringing, you know, whether it's physics or, you know, um, engineering or, you know, what have you to the forefront using various models in the classroom and also will be um, carried throughout our day, even in our educational, pro excuse me, our physical education program. Uh, we'll be utilizing a company called Gen Move USA, which will bring uh, physics to soccer and the children will not even realize, hopefully, that they're studying physics as they're doing soccer. All right, great information, Amy. Thanks so much, and particularly great for those with school-aged children. So we look forward to seeing more about that. Okay, thank you so much.